And we're back with more of the Pope on film. Um, <laughs> uh, I before we get started with this week's movie, uh, and it might be because I'm high, but I just wanted to 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 mention something to bring up something I've been thinking about ruminating on throughout the the break just now. Science has done so much. Science has uh, created vaccines, which has virtually wiped out diseases that were once commonplace. Science has created a, a treasure trove of information in the World Wide Web. A and science has created super computers so small that we all have one in our pocket and we can use it to surf the World Wide Web and find out any information we want. I heard an Eagles song on the radio. I looked up, I, I typed in Eagles, and then suddenly right there, I have the entire history of the band The Eagles. This is based, this, we are in the future. Yes. Uh, science has created uh, driverless cars. Science has done so much. And yet, every time <coughs> I use ketchup, before the ketchup comes out, there's pre-cum. Yes. Yes, there is. Must every time. Every time. Every time. Yeah. Science has wiped out diseases. It ended diseases helping extend people's lives. But I can't get ketchup in a ketchup bottle to not pre-cum all over my food. And it's upsetting to me. Very upsetting. Anyway, a uh, little bit high. Where was I? Yes. I, I just pictured an extremely tired, like, grad student being like, I'm working on it! Right? I can't. Uh, it's finals week! Act three, bunny! Act three! F3. Yes, Bunny, my friend. It is time once again for all of us here at the Pope on P Film Podcast to shuffle our way to the third and final act of the show. And for the uninitiated out, out there, it is said third act, wherein we finally and eventually get around to discussing our <clears throat> all new, same great taste, now 100% fruit juice. Movie of the week! And this week, we continue our series of westerns with a look at the 1966 western comedy, A Big Hand for the Little Lady. That poster you have up there is wildly misleading. Isn't it? Isn't it? That's why I grabbed it. Wildly fucking misleading. You're, you're, you see that, and it's like, oh, my God, a, a sex romp. Yeah. God damn. I don't, I don't have a lot about this film. It's good, but it's, it's no Joe Dorowski. No. No, it's not. No, it's not. You didn't have fun with this? No, I this did. It was a good film. Movie. Now, okay, okay. It is a product of its time, so it's, it's sexist so. pretty much through and through. Yeah. You know, but I, I think it was a really fun ride to get from from the beginning to the end. Yeah, no, it was a good film. It was good, but... Uh, so anyway, to explain what's going on, uh, during our birth months... We try and we we show movies that we want to watch. And when it's my birthday month in March, I just try to show movies that I like. Movies, not necessarily movies that mean a lot to me, but, but I try and show some good movies. And then in October, which is Bunny's month, he, he teaches us and takes us places. And we have <laughs> adventures. And yes. this month, we are focusing on the one genre that we never touch on this podcast, 
which is westerns. And we started out with some some with a great film that would uh, have a lot of discussion. And then the quality of the film is slowly but surely going downwards the more we go into October. This film is fine. Yeah? It, it's fine. It's, oh, I it's, think this is so much, so much. And it's hard to speak about without giving away the end. Yes. And the end is fucking dynamite. Come on. Uh, I did not see the ending coming, so I can say that. Yeah. And, uh, and it, to me, like, this does not necessarily have to be a Western. We could yeah, this is not a Western. Premise it, this does not feel like a Western. We could drop it pretty much anywhere. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this was not a Western, like, at all. Yeah. It, it, it felt like a bait and switch. Like, ha. Uh, it, it has the opening of a Western. You know, they've got the white screen and the Technicolor and the Irving J. Salzburg presents, you know, in the yeah. biggest font that they can. Like, it, it felt like a Western, but it's, it, it's, it's a poker movie. Yeah. It's rounders. It's rounders. It's rounders. <laughs> it's a comedic I never saw, rounders. I never saw rounders. And and Henry Fonda is Matthew Damon. Jason Robards is uh, John Malkovich. You know, you can just call him Matt. Huh? <laughs> you called him Matthew Damon. And I'm like, wow, fancy. Matthew, did I? Because I was having a hard time that's, reaching that's... either one of their names. <laughs> yeah. This cat behind me is trying to get a spinoff. I thought this movie was a lot of fun. I thought it was a really great ride. I think it progresses through the story nicely. Yeah. And and has an excellent ending. Uh, it's mostly harmless. That's how I feel it's that it was. mostly harmless. You know, it, 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 was, it was a fine film. And yeah. I liked I watched it. I had fun. It went places I didn't think it was going to go. Uh, I, the ending, uh, I did not predict that ending, so that was a pleasant surprise. It wasn't a bad movie. It's also not a movie that I... It's not a movie that I would go out of my way to watch, but if I'm changing the channels and it's like, oh, <coughs> shit, a big hand for little lady is on channel 82. Yeah. Yeah. It's like I, I got nothing to do. I'll, I'll, I'll watch this. So yeah, it was mostly harmless. Yeah, this and was I one of it. those movies that I found like late at night, where like I probably couldn't sleep, and I knew there wasn't going to be anything on. And I was flipping around, and, I was, and this came on, and I was like, "Eh, fuck it," you know? Yeah, and and was just really pleasantly surprised. This and Master of the Flying Guillotine. Same nice. story for that movie. Love that. Oh, uh, Bunny. 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 Yes. I was going to do this during Bunny Versus, but I'm, a, <coughs> I'm high and hungover. So, like, the high is being brought down from the low. And uh, I was going to do this on Bunny Versus, but I just... Uh, so you saw the first episode of TV's Westworld? Yes. What were your thoughts there? Interesting, your... but I haven't gone back for some reason. Yeah, I, I, I thought the through. I thought the premise was set up pretty interestingly, and like, wow, yeah. this is a place where people can go to be complete scumbags. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> I imagine there are and some people. Would. I imagine there are some people out there who go there to be heroes, but no, people go there to <coughs> be Fucking bastards. But I, I, I really I, like I, Yeah, show. and I don't know how I feel about that. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. They are robots. This is an amusement park. This is, this is just a, a reason, another reason that, it's, that it exists. 
yeah. that we just didn't really think about in the first movie. Yeah. It, it, I really like it. I really like it. And what's his name? Uh, Hannibal Lecter is amazing. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. And uh, his, like, number two, the black guy, he's Commissioner Gordon in the new... In the new uh, Batman movie with Robert Pattinson. Yeah. So I'm I, excited. I, I'm, I'm not looking forward to that. And we didn't we didn't discuss Superman at all. Superman. Yeah. Oh, I'm thinking DC has the lead on gay characters now. Oh yeah, Superman. I don't and think people... we have a solid, solid LGBT character in Marvel at all, is there? Uh, there was a wedding between two uh, male uh, gay mutants. Uh, it, I think it was North Star and someone else. Well, but, yeah. yeah, but they North, are yeah, there was... way, way they're down there. Yeah, but also, this isn't Superman, it's like the son of Superman. It's like son of Superman, and it's a Robin. Yeah. Yeah, no, we didn't talk about Superman, but... But not knowing the DC Universe, they, they seem to sound like fairly major characters to me. Yeah. Yeah. But I can see them... I can see DC doing it in, in the sense of... We're making Superman gay! Come and buy our comics! We didn't really make Superman gay. It's the son of Superman, so we're okay. Yeah. Superman's gay, everybody. Can you believe that? So they found a way to make a major character gay while also not having it be a major character. Yeah. You know? So, I don't know. It's, it's like other Superman. You know? It, yeah. it, I don't know. But, but, yeah, a lot of people are pissed off about it, which is hilarious, because it's yeah. like you obviously don't know comic books, because this is not Superman. We're not talking about fucking Clark Kent making my, my out with first Jim reaction, and My only first reaction and, and, and my response, which was right here, is that DC is getting ahead of the curve. I don't like that. <laughs> well, dead Marvel's got to up its game. Deadpool's pansexual and is constantly hitting on Spider-Man. Yeah. So, that's something. Yeah. That kind of counts. <clears throat> but, but yeah, no, there needs to be a major Marvel character. And not just, like, a side character. You went with them? I've been alone this whole time? Yeah. Oh, wow, I didn't know you went with them. I thought, I thought... Mal was still here in the home with me. Sorry. I was waiting for Mal to come out of the room. I've been I've been alone this whole time. I was so scared. Hi, no, Eleanor. You How you doing? Wait, uh, guess what? What? My son me got costumes. You got costumes? Yeah, from Target. They had new Oh, cool. Are you going to be Albert B. Fall, the Secretary of the Interior during the Harding administration no, who is responsible for the infamous no, teapot dome scandal? No, I'm going to be a ninja. Maxwell's going to be a ninja. Oh, hey, you know what you do when you're a ninja? You go to Arizona and you start counting ballots. I'm going to be a unicorn. You're going to be a unicorn? I thought you were an angel for a second no, there. I'm a unicorn. <clears throat> I've got a great Halloween costume that I'm super excited about. I'm going to be a man without severe depression. Oh. It's going to be a difficult out outfit for me to pull off. Yeah. But I'm going to try. Uh, so, yes, a big hand for the little lady. Um, Bunny, why don't you hit us with the plot of this film? Okay. Uh... So I, I am so cross between spoiling it because it is from the '60s for the, for Christ's sake, Illinois, you know. Illinois. Like if you haven't had a chance to see it, but let's try synopsizing <laughs> up until like the midpoint. Okay. So there's this small western town, 
And for whatever reason, this is the site for one of the year's biggest poker games. Yeah. And the richest men in the surrounding areas come to the poker game, each and every one of them some layer of scumbag. Yeah. You know? Uh, so they come to this town to play this massive, huge poker game. And this is pretty much the beginning of the movie. This is all starting right at the beginning after the stagecoach credits and all that. Uh, and one of them's we... Kevin McCarthy. What? And one of them's Kevin McCarthy. Who did a hell of a job. Yeah, he did a great job. I, 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 I know he was in the original uh, invas- Invasion of the Body Snatches, but uh, I just know him as... Hey, you need an angry old white man for a movie yeah. in the 80s and 90s. You just get Kevin McCarthy. Yeah. He so used was... to could act. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. he definitely did become like a caricature of himself mostly. Yeah. But I was happy to see a young him in a movie that wasn't uh, black, black and white. Yeah. Yeah. So now Henry Fonda and his wife Joanne Woodward and his son did he even have a fucking name? I'm I don't not know. sure. Yeah. Their their wagon wheel breaks in this town. So they have to stay overnight and get it fixed. Yes. So they get a room at the saloon. They get a and room. And Henry at Fonda the has Henry Fonda hears about the poker game. A room at the saloon. And it's quickly established that Henry Fonda has a gambling problem. Oh, yeah. So they get the rooms, and then Joanne Woodward goes off to get the wagon wheel fixed. And... He convinces the guys in the poker game to allow him to sit and watch. Yeah. The only real problematic part of the plot, I would have to say. Because why yeah. they make this exception? You know? Yeah, but I don't know. Anyway. Uh, so then it escalates from there how you would kind of think it would. Uh, Henry Fonda then takes some of his savings money and buys into the game, you know, and then it escalates from there, and he winds up down to, like, the last of the money he has, so, like, their entire lives are on the table. And he has the best hand ever. Uh... And his wife comes back, and he's trying to figure out how the, how he's going to get the money, and she gets all mad, and they start arguing, and it's the best hand ever, and it can't lose, and all that, and he has a heart attack, <coughs> therefore leaving her with the greatest hand ever to play to save their life's fortune. Yeah. That's basically it. You you did good summarizing the film. You did very good. It's Thank a fun you. little movie. I mean, I could dwell on a lot of those spots there, but, you know, the, the basic premise of the movie is fairly simple and a yeah. lot of fun, especially with actors like Henry Fonda and jo- Joanne Woodward, who could really sell the parts. Yeah, it's a veritable who's who of character actors. Yeah. <coughs> and Henry Fonda. Yeah. And Henry Fonda. Yeah. But it, it's a good movie. It's cute and it's funny and I liked it. Uh, it started out as a TV play that was performed on the DuPont show of the week. They would do live plays on the air makes, once a week. Yeah, it makes sense. You could do that. You could that easily it's pretty much one room yeah so so it started out as a play on tv uh october 7th 1962 
Back then, the play was called Big Deal in Laredo, and then it, it was apparently such a big success that they decided to expand it, and so four years later, they turned this TV play into a big movie. In the UK, A Big Hand for the Little Lady was titled Big Deal at Dodge City, which is a yes. total lie. I saw movie posters for that. I saw movies posters for... Uh... What, Big Hand in Laredo, or what did you say? Uh, big Deal at Dodge City. No, no, and uh, big that. deal, Big Deal in Laredo. Yeah, yeah. Big Deal in Laredo. Yeah. Uh, fun fact, the barman in the movie, he, he got his start in theater, and he was hired to be in Big Deal in Laredo, the TV play, and then he did a few other uh, little uh, plays and stuff. But when the director signed up to make a big hand for the little lady, he, he went back and watched the DuPont show of the week and said, okay, I'm going to recast everyone. I need that bartender. Yeah. The bartender from the original play, I need him. And so... Uh, the director gave him the same part, despite the fact that that guy just did small bits of theater and had never acted in a movie before. Yeah. But the director's like, I've got to have you. So that's cool. Uh, anywho, uh, apparently, so my kids are back, and they have purchased, put the tag in. You, you've got that the wrong way. Okay, there you go. So Eleanor here is a unicorn, and you look amazing. I'm jealous of that outfit. You're a unicorn? Yeah, they're a unicorn. And then Maxwell's a ninja. Nice. So Maxwell is going to fail at proving that the election was a fraud. And then you got Shushi, too. You got Shushi? Oh, man, Shushi. I love sushi. Me too, sushi. And what's your costume, Mal? I'm an old person. An old person. Great. With with one weird hand of nails. Yeah. Yeah. So those that was the Ma- big reveal. Ma- Mal's gonna that. have to practice the old person lines. Yeah, you're gonna have to you're gonna have to practice some old person lines. Get off my lawn is a classic. Uh, you should learn the monologue from from the from the episode of The Simpsons where uh, all of the employees of the power plant go on strike, and so uh, Mr. Burns sends uh, union busters to bust them up, but they're all old, and it's like we can't bust heads the way we used to. But we have our ways. One way is to tell them stories that don't go anywhere. Like the time I took the ferry to Shelbyville, I needed a new heel for my shoe. So I decided to catch the ferry to Boyganville, which is what they called Shelbyville at the time. So I tied an onion to my belt, which was the style at the time. Now to take the ferry, cost a nickel. And in those days, nickels had pictures of bumblebees on them. Give me five bees for a quarter, you'd say. Anyway, the important thing is, is that I had an onion on my belt, which was the style at the time. They didn't have white onions on account of the war. <laughs> So you can only get those weird yellow ones. That's a that's most of the monologue, and I'm pretty proud of myself for remembering it. I I almost got it perfect. Anyway, I watch a lot of TV. That's all I have for this week's movie, A Big Hand for the Little Lady. Uh, my review is mostly harmless. It's cute. It's nice. It's fun. It's fun. It, I wasn't expecting the ending. The ending was quite a surprise to me. This was fun. 
And there's all of these character actors. It's nice seeing Burgess Meredith. It's nice seeing Jason Robards. Yeah. It's nice seeing Kevin McCarthy and all of these people. Like, it's cute. It really is a bait and switch because, like, I was expecting a Western and this isn't a Western. Yeah, no. But, no. but like, it's nice. It almost feels like a musical, but there's not really any musical numbers. No. Except for one at the end, kind of. But it feels like a musical. So it really is like a, like, I, I'm surprised that, like, in 1966, they were still wheeling out, like, Westerns. Yeah. I picture Westerns as, like, a 50s thing. <coughs> but This one almost looks like one of the last of its kind. Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm good. I don't like it's, it's a buffalo. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I, I get that. But, yeah, this was cute. I found the entire thing for free on uh, 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 Daily Motion. Oh, yeah? So anybody, yeah. So if anybody wants to watch it, it's right there. And it's a pretty decent quality, too. It's a cute movie. And I liked it. Nice. It was all right. So, Bunny. So now bunny. it's back into your hands. What? So now movie selection is back in your hands. Oh, it is? Oh, I thought I had one more. We had one more week. No. Oh, man. I was so excited to see, like, what is worse than this. I thought you were going to do something really horrible. <laughs> you know, for, like, that's, the end. That's all I got in Westerns. You want me to pull something out of my butt? I can. Uh -huh. Oh, I was kind of hoping that it, at the end of it, you would, uh, we'd watch uh, Terror of Tiny Town. Terror of Tiny Town. I do not have Terror of Tiny Town. I, I think it's on YouTube, but I don't know for certain. I'm assuming that it is, because it's so old that it's definitely in public domain. We uh, can totally, me... if, if, if you did not plan for a movie, we could totally do I... Trick or Treat. Okay, Terror of Tiny Town. Starring Skippy from Family Ties with an appearance by Ozzy Osbourne and Gene Simmons. I mean, Terror of Tiny Town is on uh, YouTube. But, it, but also, it it's an hour. It's like an hour and two minutes, so it's barely a movie. It's not even a Dumbo. <laughs> it's, it's more of a extra long episode of The Office. So, uh, so what movie did you say? Uh, Trick or Treat, which is a complete departure. I remember that movie. It's all like glam and butt rock and shit. It's your basic heavy metal horror movie. Yeah. I, I, I vaguely remember this. Uh, hell yeah. Starring Cause... Skippy from Family Ties. Which I personally think is the best selling point. I loved Skippy from yes. Family Ties. I know exactly uh, who Skippy is. I liked Skippy a lot better than that douchebag that the daughter was dating. He wore... Nick? Nick! I thought oh, I fucking hated Nick. Skippy was the man. <laughs> Fuck Nick. And then Nick tried to... It, the actor tried to be a star. He was in some sort of like vampire or werewolf movie and it sucked. My oh, Demon Lover or something like that. Yeah. Which was completely horrible and we're yeah. going to have to watch it again one day soon. Yeah. But yeah, let's do Trick or Treat. That'd be awesome. Okay, so it's not up on the cough cough. It'll be up soon. Okay. Sweet. What's up, Cyber Ninja? I'm a Cyber Ninja. Oh, you're just a regular ninja? I assumed you were a cyber ninja. That's why I've been making all these jokes about the election. Huh? I'm, I'm deeply afraid of Maxwell having any kind of swords. I know that they're plastic, but I also know that if there's one thing... You are doing that really well, the wiping of the blade on your sleeve. That's exactly what Ronan does in uh, Avengers. Uh, yeah. That's, that's where I uh, got the idea. Yeah. 
That's very good. Okay, so next week we're doing Trigger Treat. Yes. Awesome. That'll be a good film to watch for Halloween, for the holidays, and cool. Okay, so we're doing that. Uh, next week. Also next week. Next, uh, next Steve's week is exactly Halloween. Perfect. Yes. Oh. Yes. Halloween. No, no. Uh, there's two weeks to Halloween. Next Sunday, oh, does, yeah, sorry. That's Next Sunday's 24th, 24th, and then after that, the 31st. Oh, okay, oh, well. So, uh, you, you, we'll, do, we'll, do, we'll each pick a Halloween movie. So, so you've picked Trick or Treat, and then next, the week after that, I'll find some Halloween movie good. for us to watch. Good plan. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, this is a good plan. So we've got two weeks of Halloween movies. Next week, we're doing Trick or Treat. But now that I'm looking back at this episode, uh, the highs and the lows, the ups and the downs, the Halloween uh, timeline is a mess. Everyone should go see the movie Lamb. Biker Grove, a yes. BBC teen drama with the weirdest ending to a television show of all time. And a big hand for the little lady. Uh, I got to say, I think this has been a pretty... Rootin' tootin' six gun shooting episode of the Pope on Film. I think it's it I think it's pretty good. I, I think that even though you hated the movie, it yep. was a damn good episode. Good, because I, I I I felt I also felt that it was a D word good episode. But I didn't want to step on your toes because I feel like you're the person who makes that distinction that you're the one that doles out the classification as to whether or not it's a damn good episode. And I didn't want to step on any toes, but yes, I concur with your assessment, good sir. So until next week, I am Bunny Williams. And I am Reverend Steve, and on behalf of Amber and Mal and Eleanor and Maxwell and Natasha and the cat and everybody else, I just want to say thanks for listening, and we will see you next week, you godless heathens. Oh, you're shuffling like an old man. That's, that's very good. Shuffling. <laughs> okay, but if you're going to be an old man, shake your fist when you say it, too. Like, you douche waffles and pussy. <laughs> nice. Yeah, there we go. You're getting the vibe. You're getting the old man vibe. Okay. Maxwell? Oh, are you saying it in Ninja? Because ninjas are silent? Gotcha. It took me a while to realize what you were saying. Okay, you corn. Try, try to get into the, the, really into the old man feeling. Try putting on some, like, muscle cream, you know, like Icy Hot or something like that. One so that you could smell at least a little bit medicated. And something is always hurting on an old person. Something is always sore. What? I was in a play. I was in a play my senior year of high school, and I had to be an 80-year-old man. And I wasn't sure how to do that. So what I did was I would get small, sharp pebbles and put them in my shoes. So that when I walked, I walked slowly and carefully, and I always had a look on my face like I was in pain because I fucking was. But that was my secret of being an old person. And people would say, like, oh, wow, you were so good, Steve. Uh, how did you do it? And it's like it, it was an acting. I was just in pain yeah. the whole time. I might have to do this. Okay, this is an ASMR. Please don't juggle your Skittles, okay? okay yeah, trying to wrap this up. Oh, nice. Do 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 do